Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back in another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the updated guide on scroll testnet. And if you haven't seen my previous video, I encourage you you do because in this video, I cover pretty much everything what we really need. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some few extra steps that you have to take care of. So stick to the video and watch the video to the end. So looking at the document, you can see the scroll mainnet will go live at the beginning of August this year and intends to onboard Aave V3. But we don't really know whether the airdrop will happen right now or after the mainnet. Last time when Aptos dropped, everybody who used testnet got some airdrop. And the same scenario happened with um, SUI token. So there was no mainnet. There's only testnet application. And if you use testnet, you were airdrop a few thousand dollars. But it might happen with scroll. So we don't really know whether this will happen after mainnet or right now. I encourage everybody just use it because you don't have anything to lose. You just invest your time in it. And of course, make sure you join my Discord because in here we cover different topics, how you can make money in the Web3 space, whether we talk about airdrops, NFTs. So in here, I've got a lot of different guys for you guys like ZK Sync, Layer Zero, Starknet. So make sure you join and dig in. So without further ado, first you will need to add the scroll alpha testnet to your MetaMask account. So I'm gonna do it with you. So you can click on add to MetaMask and approve it, and your network will be added to your uh, MetaMask. You can do it either on the chain list or you can do it also on the scroll official website. So if you connect your wallet to both of these, you can connect this to Gorly testnet. So I already added this network to my uh, MetaMask previously. And also you can click to scroll off our testnet. So you're going to have two networks in your MetaMask account. So now you'll need to get some Gorilla ETH. So the way how you can do it, you can go to the official website of Alchemy. So if you go to gorillyfaucet.com, you basically will be uh, redirected to the faucet where you put your wallet address. You'll need to have the account first. Then you put your wallet address and then you verify that you are not a robot. Once you do it, it's going to take a few minutes for your Ethereum for your Gorilla Eve to arrive to your wallet. Then you click Send Me Eve and you can claim 0.02 Gorilla Eve every 24 hours. But you're going to get very little amount. So if you don't want to do it, if you think that's not enough, you can use the Gorilla faucet. So basically, you just put your wallet address and it's going to take a few minutes to mint some Gorilla Eve. I think it's point one is definitely enough for you to do some interactions on the scroll testnet. So once you have your ether in your wallet, you'll need to go to scroll bridge. So the way how you can do it, you go to scroll IO alpha and then you click on the bridge button uh, or here or here. Doesn't really matter. Once you do that, um, you connect your wallet and then you want to send some girly ETH. So you have to be connected on the girly testnet. And you can send, for example, 0.3, let's say, and we're going to send it to scroll off our testnet. So we'll click on send. We're going to send 0.3 if you're to scroll testnet. Then you click confirm. And it might take a few minutes. So I'm going to get back to you once this is done. All right, guys. So as we can see, I have my if in my wallet ready on this scroll testnet. What do you want to do now? You want to go to this website, up Ave. Once you're in there, you want to just go to the option, to the settings cog. And you want to select the testnet mode. You want to switch it to on. Then you want to go to markets. And in here, you'll need to select that you want to be on the scroll testnet. So um, first you will have if, but you'll need to change it to scroll testnet, scroll alpha. Once you do that, you will need to um, supply some if. Uh, you can click on the supply button. And then, if, for example, we can supply 0 0.002 or 3 supply above ten dollars and click supply then confirm your transaction just wait a few seconds for the confirmation so now that's done what do you want to do you can click on assets to borrow so for example you can borrow let's say usdt so click on borrow and then you can see we have available nine usdt what we can do we can just say i don't know um five and then borrow USDT, confirm the transaction. So now that's done. As you can see, we have borrowing, we have USDT, and we have ETH as the supply. We can just get USDC. We can borrow USDC. Let's do one, let's say, um, and then borrow USDC. So now our job on Ave is done. If you want to play some more, you can use more funds to move, to borrow, to repay it. Uh, but for now, we are good to go. Step number two, you want to go to syncswap.xyz. And instead of being on ERA mainnet or testnet, you want to be on the scroll alpha. So make sure you're on the right network. Just connect your wallet, 
now we can make a few swaps so for example swap 75 percent to usdc we can click on swap um the value is wrong but it doesn't really matter because everything what we do is on testnet so we can make a few swaps so right now um just wait a few seconds for our usdc to arrive in our wallet once it's done we can swap it back so just select 50 percent for example and we want to swap it back to eve use the max limit that we want to spend click next confirm the transaction now transaction successful we want to swap it so just wait a few seconds and click on the swap button and we should get 0.11 if click confirm and now transaction submitted now we can for example get the usdc and we can get it for different per like for usdt so let's get the remaining balance that we have then get it to, to our usdt now the transaction submitted and we're swapping the remaining usdc to usdt so now let's swap it back 100 percent of it to ethereum you can randomize your actions it doesn't really matter what i'm doing everything is on testnet you're supposed to just play with it and make some more transactions on your wallet use the 100 percent unlock it and then get back your girl if that you previously used to make the transactions on sync swap so click approve and now our transaction is submitted I wait a few seconds and we're gonna get our eve back so now we did our swaps what do you want to do you want to just provide a liquidity so to do that you'll need to have for example usdc so let's get it for example we can take um 0.01 eve and we want to swap it to usdc once you do that just confirm the transaction and once that's done uh, go to pools go to positions click new position then select the classic pool type click enter and go to deposit once you do that click the maximum that we have our usdc click unlock um unlock our usdc in our metamask wallet click on the maximum that we want to spend click next approve and now we have transaction submitted and now finally you want to click on the deposit so we're going to deposit our funds to sync swap platform once it's done and we're going to move to different protocol which is basically Izumi. So on this website, you want to connect your wallet, obviously. Make sure you are on this call testnet network. Once you do that, click on the swap button. And in here, for example, we can swap something to USDT. So 0.01 ETH is going to give us $155. So let's swap it. So now let's make another swap and we can select a USDC as the example. So um, use any amount that you really want. So I select 0.05 Ether. And I'm gonna swap it to this amount of USDC tokens. So now I'm gonna make a couple more swaps to swap it back to Ether. So now I'm gonna swap my USDC. So I have some USDC as well. So I'm gonna get the maximum amount of USDC that I have. I'm gonna approve it. So just confirm the transaction in your wallet. Use the maximum spending limit and approve it. Once this is done, you wanna click it on the swap button. So now we did everything on the website. You can also provide liquidity, but sometimes it's glitching. So um, you can try it if it works for you. It doesn't work for me at the moment. So next, you want to go to Orbiter.Finance and all links you can find down below. And you want to bridge some more Ethereum to scroll off a testnet. If you don't have enough, you can bridge it back from scroll off a testnet to your Gurley network. And then from Gurley, you can use it Orbiter.Finance and bridge it back to scroll alpha. So let's select 0.01 uh, and just send it. To scroll alpha testnet and just switch the network to goalie and then click on send confirm the transaction and we're gonna send very little amount of ether to scroll alpha testnet so next what do you want to do you want to watch my video where i talk about how you can interact with scroll contract addresses and basically how you can mint your nfts and how you can buy and swap different pair of tokens and coins so make sure you guys watch this video because I um, cover a really important topic. Maybe that will be the criteria for the upcoming airdrop. Maybe not, but you have nothing to lose. You just invest your time in it. So once you do it, once you finish with this um, task, what you want to do, you want to go to layer 3.xyz and you want to complete this task. So first you want to connect your wallet, of course, and then just basically enroll this quest. Click on the continue. Just skip it. Um, it's very simple to do. Then you will need to click on um, open scroll bridge. Then if you bridge, uh, you will need to verify it. So as you can see, I bridged that. So I can click on verify. So now it does the question. So just select the correct answer. 
So that's the second correct answer. And the third one is testnet. So once they're done, click on the continue. So we did that. Of course, you will need to find the link down below if you want to do it. Then you'll need to go to the second quest, which is Ave on scroll. Once you're finished with this platform, you can move to guild.xyz. And in here, very simple things to do. Just basically reconnect your Twitter, join these guilds and claim your role. So that's pretty much all the steps that you have to take care of if you want to receive the scroll airdrop. And make sure you watch my first video because in here I cover everything in detail. So make sure you watch it very first and then follow up with the second video that I'm preparing for you guys today. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below what you think about this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.